these out. Well, when it comes to giving somebody up, I've never given up anybody in my life. I'm not going to put anybody in prison. And as a matter of fact, you probably couldn't get the FBI to admit to it, but when a couple of their people forced their way into Stateville, I was offered all kind of deals and all kind of agreements if I would not give an interview on John F. Kennedy before. Uh, two FBI agents came to my facility at Stateville without me knowing uh, uh, is reference to a conversation I had with James Pyle where he mentioned in passing that he was going to have problems with his appeal because two FBI agents had threatened him about his willingness to speak openly about the JFK assassination and that uh, that could cause him problems in his appeal. Well, I really didn't think much about it at the time except for the fact that a light bulb went on above my head and said, well, wait a minute, what FBI agents? And he said, and he swore up and down there were FBI agents that came to visit him. Well, I thought I finally, ah, I got him now. I've got him in a lie because I would have been the first to know or the second after the gatehouse officer, I should have been the second to know that there were FBI agents at my gatehouse, let alone inside my facility. Uh, comes to f come to find out that, yeah, in fact, they, they, uh, they interviewed him. How did I find out? Well, uh, while I was researching the possibility of FBI agents entering my facility without me knowing, I got a call from one of them who admitted to me, yeah, he came to see files on such and such a date. So I backtracked it and found the entry finally in the gatehouse where they had, in fact, come in and interviewed James Files. And there was, there was a case where, unbeknownst to James, I was researching, I wanted to catch him so badly, I wanted to catch him in a lie. And he was telling the truth. Are you remorseful about shooting Kennedy? For many years, no, I wasn't. But as the time goes by, I'm not saying it's remorseful for shooting Kennedy. Maybe I'm more remorseful for how it affected this country and for the things it's done. Maybe John F. Kennedy did do some good things for this country. I'm not really sure. But I got a lot of remorse for a lot of things that I've done, but that's for the simple reason I've got my life turned around a little bit, so I can't be as hard as I used to be. I try to have a lot of compassion for my fellow man. But for John F. Kennedy, gotta be honest, yeah, let's say I got a little remorse there for him because uh, not specifically maybe him, but like for his family, for the kids and all. But at the time when we acted, I felt that I was right in what we were doing. in the face of Jane, if what you're saying is true, do you realize that you changed history? What was the thing on your mind? At, what was the utmost number one thing on your mind after you fired that shot? You know what his answer was? He goes to me, Warden, I was kind of pissed because I missed my target by a fraction of a, an inch. He didn't smile. He didn't gloat. He didn't. He answered my question with a lot less emotion and passion than I asked it, which struck me. 